11. Today we are making 11 from Stranger Things. I'm excited about this. It is going to be challenging, but let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quality Pops. My name is Millie Bobby Brown and today we are making 11. There's a fly in here. I saw it right now. I just saw it. So the new season of Stranger Things is coming out and I really want to celebrate. I'm so excited. It's been delayed for so long because of COVID. Now to celebrate, I'm creating an 11 cape or I'm going to try to. Let's see how close I can actually get to it looking like Millie Bobby Brown. The version of 11 that I'm going to be creating is 11 from season one. I love her look. It's so iconic. So let's get started. Now to create this cake, I'm starting with a bunch of styrofoam. I'm using styrofoam so I don't have to use that much cake, which would most likely be thrown away. All of these layers could be cake or they could be Rice Krispie treats. But I can reuse all this stuff so it makes it easier for me to create more characters. So I kind of goof. These are 8 inch round cakes and not 10 inch. Also, I think there's way too much cake. I feel like because she has a bald head, I'm only gonna really need like half of this cake and probably not even that. Cause most of it's gonna be created with the styrofoam. I used styrofoam so I didn't have to bake too many cakes and now I baked too many cakes. Carving this is gonna suck because <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna waste so much cake. First thing I'm gonna do is cover the bottom with saran wrap so that I can keep my cake board and my turntable clean. I wish I started doing this like four years ago when I started carving cakes, but you know what, better late than never. I've spent so much time cleaning cake off my turntable when I could have just been doing this. So let's start carving. All right, so this is our cake so far. I didn't use a lot of the second layer, but I used a lot more than I thought I would. Now that I'm getting more comfortable with these face cakes, I realize that they don't really have to have any complex shape. It just needs to be simple so that you can do the rest with buttercream. So I'm using the cake to primarily create the back of her head. There's a lot of room in the front so that I can shape the rest of her face with buttercream. The next thing I'm going to do is give this a crumb coat and put it in the fridge to set up. Then I'm going to add my 11 skin tone buttercream. This is our 11 cake so far. Bloated uh, stung by a bee, 11. <laughs> it doesn't look like her, but if you turn her to the side like that, I actually was able to create the silhouette that she has from this picture. I just need to start carving her actual face. The only thing I'm really worried about is that at some point it's gonna lose the symmetry and her mouth is gonna be crooked like Doctor Strange. But fingers crossed, I learned something from the Doctor Strange cake, hopefully. So let's start to carve. I'm anticipating like four days, maybe three weeks, who knows, I don't know. <laughs> this is day one with my Obi-Wan Kenobi and my Doctor Strange cake. This would probably be like day two or three. With those cakes, I was just shaving away a little buttercream at a time to create their faces. But with this one, I kind of just threw caution to the wind. I just took big chunks of it to create the face and if I had carved away too much, I would just spackle on some more buttercream and then just move on. So in a very short amount of time, I was able to take her silhouette and turn it into an actual face. It looks like a very generic person right now, but hopefully when I add the gumball eyes, it'll start to look like Levin. So day two and three is really about refining all the shapes that I created yesterday. So I'm just gonna like smoothen out her cheeks, make sure that I get her nose just right and that her nostrils are not too big. But I'm gonna try to get all of the little nuances in her face. I'm also gonna add more buttercream to her forehead and at the top of her head. It's not as rounded as I need it to be. So I wanna make sure I get the right shape. I also need to give her ears. That's what's wrong with it. I was like, what is wrong with the side? <laughs> After years, I did my favorite part and added my gumball eyes. Just removed some cake and buttercream to create eye sockets, inserted my eyeballs, and then blended it into the rest of the cake with some buttercream and a paintbrush. So this is the 11 cake so far. I think it's the most accurately sculpted. Oh my god, this is some of my best work. 
I spent all of yesterday just using my makeup brush and just smoothing out all of her facial texture. Her hair, not so much, but there's gonna be another layer of buttercream to create the color. One of the problems I had with Obi-Wan Kenobi was I was only using two reference pictures. One which was like his profile and then like a full frontal shot of his face. I did the same thing with Eleven. When I was more comfortable with the sculpt, I was skimming through episodes of Stranger Things season one to finalize all of her features. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finalize her hair with some hair color. And I really don't want to add texture with a paintbrush, so I'm gonna use a comb. But this way, I don't really have to worry about any paintbrush bristles coming off. It's scary. Oh my gosh, imagine that getting caught in somebody's teeth. After that, it's all about adding luster dust to finalize my 11 look. Day two and three turned into two, three, and four because I realized I made a lot of mistakes. And then day five turned into five and six because after I added her hair color, I realized that her head was the wrong shape. So I added more buttercream and then I added fondant to create her costume. The last thing I had to do on this cake was finish her eyes and give her that signature bloody nose. And voila, my 11 cake was complete. What do you think? Do you like it? I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this looks more like Millie Bobby Brown than my Obi-Wan Kenobi cake looks like Ewan McGregor. I just, I can't, oh my gosh, I did that. Now one mistake that I made when making this cake is that Eleven's head is tilted down when she's making this face, but my cake is actually facing upwards. So I put fondant on my cake board and <laughs> I cheated a little bit. Look at that. That way she's pointing down. I thought I was finished with this cake probably like 10 times and then I realized I had to do a lot more carving. From afar, you can't really see it. You actually have to get really close. But there are parts of this cake where her skin is lighter. That's because after I finished adding the luster dust the first time, I realized there are places that I made mistakes on. And so I had to carve away some of the buttercream and then apply more luster dust and it just, it just looks blotchy. <laughs> but the sculpt is correct. This cake took me so much time. After making it, I realized that I can't make as many as I want to. Originally, I was gonna be doing her. I wanted to do Homelander. Then I was gonna attempt Chris Pratt's beautiful face. But this cake took me a week longer <laughs> than I expected it to take. So I'm gonna have to be really selective on the characters and the people that I wanna turn into realistic face cakes. Oh my God, I did such a good job. Look at her nose, it looks so good. <laughs> I'm excited that I made this cake and that I love the fourth season of Stranger Things. There's been so many times where I've made a cake, been very excited for the next season, and it just sucked. But Stranger Things 4, is amazing. The visual effects are movie quality and the writing is so good, even better than Obi-Wan. If you haven't already binged it, you need to get on that. I finished it in four days. The thing that I love is that they shave her head again. So Millie Bobby Brown sports this beautiful do in the fourth season as well. I'm curious, what character would you like to see me give a cake treatment next? And what did you think of Stranger Things 4? We've got two more episodes coming next month. Oh my God, I think somebody's gonna die of rabies of all things. <laughs> But I hope not. I hope I'm wrong. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Bye.